Jason. He did it for me, he will do it for you. You cannot get this anywhere else. You cannot get it in any other religion. Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, the Roman Catholic priests, they did not die for your sin. They cannot help you. Jesus Christ does not approve of the Roman Catholic Church and what they've done in history. That stuff is all anti-Christ. Jesus, uh, the Roman Catholic Church is rich. They have an army. They're violent. They're known for sexual immorality. This is not Christianity. It's not. It's not. Muhammad, Buddha, Krishna, the Roman Catholic priests, they cannot help you. If you follow them, you will go to hell. Because the Bible says you must be born again. You must be born again by the Holy Spirit of God. And Jesus Christ is the only way. If you confess your, with your sin, if you make Jesus Lord, if you believe the gospel, if you turn to him in obedience, you will be born again. You will be saved. You will come into a relationship with the living God. With the living God. The Bible says that God so loved the whole world. So much that he sent his one and only son. Pack up your shit. No. Get the fuck out. It's a free country. Free. It's actually illegal to stop me. Hey. Go ahead. Marty, you gotta fuck off, man. I'm actually listening to this guy. It's a section 2B of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms says I can Gordon preach anywhere I want. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Hey, God loves Gordon, you. I love Gordon. you. It's okay. Could you explain what Christian... The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But you have to turn from sin. You have to turn from sin. The Bible says that uh, if you continue on lying and stealing and being drunk and violent and bitterness and looking at porn and cheating on your wife and premarital sex, getting drunk, drug abuse, dealing drugs, this stuff will land you to hell. The Bible calls this stuff sin unto death. You cannot continue doing it and expect to be saved. You will not be saved. The Bible is crystal clear about that. It's crystal clear. But there's nothing that you've done that's too bad. The Bible says that God can wash you clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. He'll reconcile you back to himself through the blood of his son. He can be... You can have new life. You can have righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. You can have salvation. You can have a relationship with a God who loves you. Have a relationship with a God who loves you. He created you. God knows what your soul thirsts for. He created you for a relationship with Him. And Jesus Christ is the only way. He's the only way to be reconciled back to a God who loves you. This is the purpose. This is the purpose of Christianity. To be reconciled back to a God who loves you. But you have to turn from sin. You have to make Jesus Lord. You must believe the gospel. Be baptized into his body. Read his word. But the moment you make Jesus Lord and believe the gospel, the Bible says you will be saved. You will. But the, if you truly believe, it means like you have to turn in obedience. You have to turn in obedience to him. Or it's not real. It's not real. Many people claim Christ, but they're not actually true followers. The uh, American presidents say that they're Christian, but they drop bombs on people. It's not Christianity. Oprah says she's a Christian. She does all kinds of whack stuff that's contrary to the Bible. It's not Christian. The Roman Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic priests say they're Christian, but they do all kinds of whack stuff. The Roman Catholic Church in history has uh, murdered people. They're rich. They have an army. This is not Christianity. The most important part of Christianity is to, to be born again. To be born again by the power of the Holy Spirit.
Stuff all yours here? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, so I just um, was preaching and I think it was six cop cars pulled up and pulled guns on me and told me to get on the get on the ground. Uh, it was probably the scariest one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me. I I, I thought that I was gonna get shot for one minute because uh, they were dead serious. They were dead serious about it. And uh, I didn't know what was happening. It, it was definitely scary, but so I'm gonna show you guys this video. Uh, this guy came up to me while I was preaching. It was an hour of good preaching. It, it was good preaching. So the, the angry old guy called the cops and said that I was wielding a knife out here just because he hates the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, and yeah, so six cops rolled up on me. I think it was six or more rolled up on me with guns out and told me to, to get down and they handcuffed me and and almost charged me with aggravated assault. Um, and it was scary. It was super scary, but I have it on video, the cop stuff, but I'm not gonna post it because the cops they took time with me, they talked with me, they watched the video of me preaching, and they know that I did not do anything wrong. Uh, so they were only doing their job, and they did a good job, they investigated everything, they checked me out. Uh, and this is why re we record everything on video, because I had the whole thing on video. So I showed the cops the video of me preaching while I was in handcuffs. I showed them where to scroll and watch and they watched it. And that is what got me out of being charged with aggravated assault today is having the video. I showed them the video. So, um, yeah, so that guy, the guy that called and lied about me and said I was wielding a knife, they're going to get him now. And I think I might even follow it through if they want to charge him, if they can, I think I'll probably even follow it through just because uh, when it comes to legal stuff, the cops are on our side a lot. There are some corrupt cops that want us out of here, but there's still good cops that are doing their job and protecting us in our charter of rights and freedoms. And street preachers should have the protection of the police. This country is built on Christian. It might not have been built by Christian people, but they're all Christian ideas out of the Bible. I don't know what was in the hearts of the people that founded this country, but it's all biblical stuff. You cannot murder. You cannot uh, do all kinds of stuff. The, 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 a lot of the rules we have are things that God says we cannot do in the Bible. Right? So when it comes to that, the cops are... are uh, these cops here, uh, now they're, they're protecting the street preachers. And they know my face. They know that I'm a legit and I'm a good dude. So uh, I think it, it, I think it is... Uh, I think it's very beneficial to have a good relationship with the cops that are good cops um, because they protect the charter of rights and freedoms that this country was built on, that uh, will protect the Christian street preachers. And that's what we need. That's what we need. We need the cops and the preachers to work together. 
uh, the good cops, I mean, not the cor corrupt ones, obviously, right? But so anyway, wow, wow, man, I cried. I was scared. I was shaking, man. I was shaking. They rolled out with, with guns out and um, they're like, get on the ground, get on the ground. And I was, I did not have a clue what was happening, right? Um, but anyway, I'm not gonna post it because those cops are all very kind to me after they watched the video and they realized that, that uh, you know, and, and now I have a relationship with those guys, right? So anyway, praise God for his protection. Uh, persecution will come with the gospel, but persecution will also spread the flames of the gospel. Not bad flames, good flames. People will, will uh, hear the gospel. That's what it means. The gospel, will, you know, the kingdom of God will uh, people will hear the gospel, you know, the, the persecution spreads the gospel, basically, is, is all I'm trying to say. Um, so anyway, praise God, hallelujah. If, if cops, if you guys ever watch this, I, I love you guys, and, and Jesus Christ died for your sins too. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But God, God says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Like he wants us to, if we truly love him, believe that he sent his son to die. He wants us to turn in obedience to his son. That's what it means to be Christian, to, to be reconciled back to a God who loves you. So amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for your protection again today. And thank you for the police uh, doing their job and getting down to the truth and setting me free and going and getting the other guy. And I just hope and pray that street preachers are protected in this country that the cops continue protecting the street preachers because we need it. We need your protection, police. We need you to help us preach the gospel to this whole country so that the country can change because the gospel is the only thing that can change it. it he, God did it for me. He changed me and he can change this whole country. So we have to work together. I'm talking to even the corrupt cops. Corrupt cops, you need to repent. And get right with Jesus Christ and understand that this country is built on biblical ideas. Anyway, so I did almost get arrested for aggravated assault today. I did have cops roll on me with guns out and make me hit the deck, hit the ground, uh, face down. They handcuffed me, put me in the back of the car. I was super scared. But God protected me and many people heard the gospel. And I guess it... <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I guess it's just all in the day of a street preacher. So anyways, anyways, God is good. God is good. And God is love. The message is love. Anybody watches my preaching, they'll know that it's love. I'm, I preach hard on sin. I preach hard on lies. I believe that other religions are false. But I have the, the, the right to do that in this country. As long as I'm being respectful and, and I'm always respectful. People cuss me out all the time. I just keep moving. So praise God, hallelujah.